I'm just about done working on the cleats. All I've got left to do is use this Sharpie marker to complete a sort of trim that's supposed to be inside of the cleats as a sort of padding, but it sticks up a little bit over the actual the outside of the cleats. Yeah, I used a drying up black fine sharpie marker in order and uh, made all the while making circles to intentionally leave blank spots and then filled in those blank spots with a darkest sharpie marker. I did this for most of the sides and backs of the cleats. I did this in order to create a rough black texture effect. Or at least that was my attempt at it. And I tried to uh, make the heels rise a bit as you go towards the sides before coming back down as you get to the very sides of it with it lower in the middle. Since that that's how it looked to me of in that picture of cleats that Aaron Rodgers wore back in 2015. Apparently they were auctioning that off. All I have left to do of the cleats is simply finish uh, that trim. Uh, these are just about all of the Sharpie markers I used at one point or another uh, for today's progress on the Aaron Rodgers polystyrene drawing. It's currently 9.43 p.m. And while I'm working on the Aaron Rodgers polystyrene drawing. I am also working on the 99th Dan Hamming episode. Oh, this is delicious. Yeah, most or all of this was made by had dad's mom. Dad visited his parents today around 6, 6.30 p.m. That was also about the time I started working on the 99th Dan Hamming episode again. Today's work has started as a uh, with me opening up Camtasia Studio twenty nineteen. Thankfully, they never, it seems, they never required me. To purchase it again uh, to maintain the 2019 version I have. Uh, which I think originates from when I first started seriously working on the 99th Dan Hamming episode. I opened up Camtasia Studio in order to try and look for
an instance in which I believe I made a side view of Michael's or Caesar's dad, dad's face. I believe I did that at some point. And I'm thinking that I might need it. as part of the new stuff I'm adding to uh, the first raw video. In these past few hours, I found a problem, some problems I needed to fix, uh, such as giving the back view I made of the Hispanic of the trio shaped to resemble ears since they're clearly visible from the side and front views even though she wears sort of a green wool knit hat though making those ear props which I borrowed from a shape I used to make her side view of her face I don't know if I sent those ear props to the back enough times, but I ended up messing around with a black rectangle shape prop for about an hour at least before I decided to replace it with a black semicircle prop. So there so there wouldn't be an edge sticking out of her hair. And that way that edge wouldn't interrupt Her hair. Yeah, which at the very least I made a bit spiky at the bottom from what I could recall. Uh, While well, thinking of that, the word wavy came to mind, but I don't think it looks wavy. Now, I think I made 10 drafts of, of a technically uh, some 10 drafts of uh, the, the third raw video file. I'm messing around with that black rectangle, making either slight Y adjustments, slight X adjustments, or slight rotation adjustments. In these cases, we're talking tenths of a pixel or tenths of a degree here. 
I only ended up having to make a handful of drafts once I switched to the black semicircle in order to get it to just how I wanted it. After that, I moved on to uh, the fifth raw video file in order to uh, make a bit of a fix so that uh, to fix up a scene to make it so that to imply that uh, the Hispanic of the trio put Kyle's uh, revolver into one of her pockets. Uh, this is a slice of a piece of cake uh, that Dad's mom also made. Essentially, with the change I made, I wanted to uh, essentially give enough time for the Hispanic of the trio to put the revolver into one of her pockets to explain why She's not holding it in one of her hands when the trio runs away after Michael jumps into a plate glass window, or maybe just a glass window. I'm not entirely sure what. what the difference is between normal glass and plate glass, but I heard that once from a top 10 video. And now I'm currently trying to make a change with uh, the six raw video file in order to explain how Dan Hamming got into the convenience store Michael jumped into while it was closed in order to help Michael. I'm going to do this by making the opening that Michael initially made larger. Uh, maybe Dan Hamming uh, used one of his firearms in order to clear away some of the broken glass. And maybe something like that, I'm thinking. I had some more of the honey oat granola cereal uh, that Dad had two boxes of, but one now is almost empty, according to... Uh, what I recall. A hey, previous daily exclusive was a building called C Calligraphy Class. I tried to get it, but uh, I wasn't successful. 
a bit earlier uh, before it switched over to this daily exclusive. I think it's at around 8 it switches over. So around 6 p.m. I had the leftover four pieces or slices of pizza. Cup char pepperoni. And sausage. I microwaved it all together for two minutes. I recall waking up today at around, I think I first woke up around 9.30 in the morning, went back to bed, and then woke up again at around 11, 11.30 in the morning. And then, over the next few to handful of hours, I had a few cups of coffee. At this point, it was pretty much cold brew. Hey, here's where I'm at at the current episodic autumn zodiac if I recall it started early this morning today but I wasn't up until again around 11 11 30 in the morning that's when I got up and then I didn't remember uh, that that was coming up, potentially in progress, until about 3.30 in the afternoon. In the evening, I found these Pokemon coins that I got a long time ago, probably when I was a single digit in age or close to that, uh, back when I used to uh, have Pokemon cards regularly bought. You would flip these coins, this would be Tails. This would be heads. And not that I ever really seriously played Pokemon. It's just that I have quite a few cards somewhere. I've only managed to find a small portion of them so far, however. Now, this was while I briefly cleaned up the spare room by trying to consolidate all of the non-satchel Sharpie markers into, into this canvas bag. Also, after my dad called me in the, during the late afternoon, somewhere between 3 and 4 p.m. I called Aunt Janet, and from what I can tell, she enjoys the polystyrene drawings I did for her. In particular, my fifth leprechaun drawing and my second drawing of Josh Allen. Uh, during the roughly seven-minute call, I let her know that if there's anything else she would like me to do, I would be happy to do it. Uh, I enjoy drawing on polystyrene uh, with Sharpie markers.